So this next exercise that we're going to do is called the Arnold Curl. Arnold Schwarzenegger is the one who developed it, and Arnold is the one who got to name it. So it's the Arnold Curl. It is the best exercise for the peak of the bicep. Let me show you. The peak of the bicep, obviously, is this top piece right here. There's not very many exercises that will actually target that piece. What we've done so far, we've done the closest thing that we would have to say is it's targeted the peak is the cable curl. The difference between the cable curl and the Arnold curl is the cable curl keeps you stationary. That is the purpose of that curl. It doesn't allow you any movement here. It doesn't allow you any movement here. You don't have to worry about balance. With this, you do. The reason for that is, is there's nothing to help your elbow stay stationary. And there's no machine in front of you to help you stay back to front. It's a lighter weight. You pick this up and you start and once again, Keep your knees obviously bent. You have no choice in this matter. Your elbow is never going to be locked out. It's always going to be slightly bent. Your back is flat. When you come up, you're going to supinate the wrist. Once again, the supination is what creates the peak in the first place. So, when you come up, you supinate. You turn a little more to the side so you can see a little bit better. Notice my hand is at the regular position. As you come up, you twist it. Come back down, you drop it back. The balance is what's also creating the peak effect. You have to worry about balancing this. Your tricep is going to hold it. So you hold. You come up. You squeeze. All the way down. Half movements don't count. There are no points for half movements. That is what is considered a half movement. If you can only make it up to that high, you're doing too heavy of a weight. You want to get six to eight repetitions. That's all. Not the usual 10 to 12. You come up, and you're not swinging the weight. None of this. It's stationary. Just like that. like that. Then you're going to switch hands. Once again, supination, balance, knees bent, breathing. 